John chapter 15, verse 7. Listen to what he says. This is for sure, 100%. You can count on this. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask me for anything you want and it will be granted. What a promise. But what does it mean? If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. Well, I got a question for you. Think about this. Here's my question. What happens when his word remains in you? What happens when his word remains in you? I'll tell you. When his word abides in you, you begin to become transformed. Your desires begin to change. Your cravings begin to change. Your habits begin to change. Your thinking begins to change. So if his word abides in me, then I begin to become transformed in my desires. And what begins to happen? I begin to pray what he wants. And it's in praying what he wants that causes it to be granted. Mm -hmm. I can't just pray whatever I will, whatever I want, that's immature. But when I align myself with his word, what he's promised, then I begin to see the manifestation of those prayers. What does it mean now to remain in me or abide in me? Now, this is important because here's the condition he laid out. If you remain in me, that's the condition. So if we want the result, we have to meet the condition. So what does that mean if you remain in me? Well, 1 John 3, 24 says this, whoever keeps his commandments remains in God and God in him. By this, we know that he remains in us by the spirit he has given us. So it is in living according to the word. It's living in righteousness that we find ourselves aligned with God's word. 1 John 3, 21 through 22. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence toward God and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Mm. You want to see your prayers answered? Start living right. Come on. Start aligning your life with the word of God and you will begin to see that your prayers change. Your will becomes one with his. And the moment you align with heaven, you have heaven's backing. Alignment brings access to authority.